Welcome to our channel Storm Rider. The BRP Antonio Luna FF-151 is one of the most advanced warships ever commissioned into the Philippine Navy. And while it's often referred to as a frigate in official documents, many defense watchers note that its armament, sensors, and versatility put it closer to the category of a modern destroyer. This ship represents not just a leap forward in technology for the Philippines, but also a symbol of how smaller navies are catching up with 21st century maritime threats. For viewers who are not familiar with naval classifications, a frigate is usually a fast, multi-role warship used for escort duties. While a destroyer tends to be larger, more heavily armed, and capable of operating independently in a combat environment, in the case of the Antonio Luna, what makes it stand out is how it combines sleek design with powerful weapons and advanced electronics, giving it the kind of capability normally associated with bigger fleets. At the heart of the Antonio Luna's design is its focus on multi-role operations. That means this ship can conduct anti-air, anti-surface, and anti-submarine warfare all in one package. From defending against hostile aircraft and missiles, to hunting submarines, to launching strikes against enemy vessels, the Antonio Luna is built to cover the full spectrum. For the Philippine Navy, which has historically operated older ships often donated by allies, this represents a massive jump in both technology and self-reliance. The vessel was constructed by Hyundai Heavy Industries of South Korea, part of the Jose Rizal class of guided missile frigates, and launched with modern systems that make it one of the most formidable assets in Southeast Asia. In terms of size and physical design, the Antonio Luna measures about 107 meters in length with a displacement of over 2,600 tons. It is powered by a combined diesel and gas turbine propulsion system that gives it a top speed of over 25 knots, which translates to roughly 46 kilometers per hour. For a warship of its class, that's fast enough to keep up with international fleets while also being fuel efficient for long patrols. The hull is built with a low radar cross-section, meaning it uses stealth technology to reduce its visibility to enemy radar. This stealth shaping, along with heat and acoustic signature reductions, makes it much harder to detect compared to older ships, giving it a significant edge in modern naval engagements where detection often decides the outcome before shots are even fired. Now let's talk about the weapon systems, because this is where the Antonio Luna really earns its reputation. Forward on the bow, it is equipped with an OTO Malara 76mm Super Rapid Gun. For viewers unfamiliar with naval guns, this is essentially a rapid-firing cannon that can engage air, surface, and even missile threats. It can pump out shells at very high speeds, giving the ship a versatile and reliable main gun. Complementing this are anti-ship missiles, specifically the SSM 700K Sea Star missile system. These missiles have ranges over 150 kilometers allowing the Antonio Luna to strike enemy ships long before they come close. In modern naval warfare, having that standoff distance is a game changer, as it allows smaller navies to punch far above their weight. For air defense, the ship is equipped with surface-to-air missile systems designed to intercept enemy aircraft or incoming missiles. The sensors and radar suite on board are equally impressive. The ship carries a 3D phased array radar that can track multiple targets simultaneously, both in the air and on the surface. This allows the Combat Information Center to create a real-time picture of the battle space, ensuring the captain and crew have situational awareness at all times. The Antonio Luna also has advanced electronic warfare systems to jam or deceive enemy sensors, which is a vital capability in today's electronic heavy battlefield. When it comes to anti-submarine warfare, the Antonio Luna is no less capable. It is fitted with torpedo launchers and an advanced sonar system that can detect submarines lurking beneath the waves. But what makes it even more effective is its ability to carry a helicopter, usually an Augusta Westland AW-159 Wildcat. This helicopter extends the ship's reach dramatically, giving it eyes and ears far beyond its radar horizon and allowing it to deploy lightweight torpedoes against submarines well before they pose a danger. This combination of ship-based sensors and airborne assets is critical in defending against undersea threats, especially in contested waters like the South China Sea. Beyond weapons and sensors, 
The ship is designed with crew comfort and long-term sustainability in mind. Carries about 65 officers and sailors, though it has space for more if mission demands require. The living quarters, bridge, and combat information center are designed with modern ergonomics and digital systems, which reduce crew fatigue and improve efficiency. Compared to the older, Cold War-era vessels that the Philippine Navy has operated, this is a completely different level of capability and comfort. Another unique aspect of the Antonio Luna is its ability to serve multiple roles beyond direct combat. It can perform humanitarian assistance and disaster relief missions, which are extremely important in a region frequently hit by typhoons, earthquakes, and other natural disasters. The ship has space to carry supplies, medical equipment, and can serve as a coordination hub during emergencies. This dual-use design makes it not just a weapon of war, but also a tool for national resilience and soft power projection. Performance-wise, the Antonio Luna is balanced to provide endurance and flexibility. It can remain at sea for weeks at a time, conducting patrols or escort missions. And its relatively small size compared to larger destroyers makes it more agile in littoral or coastal environments. This is particularly relevant in the Philippines' maritime setting, where navigating tight straits and shallow waters is part of daily operations. Yet despite its smaller frame, it packs firepower and technology that rival larger ships, making it a cost-effective but powerful addition to the fleet. From a broader perspective, what makes the Antonio Luna significant is the message it sends. For decades, the Philippine Navy was seen as under-equipped, especially compared to regional powers. With the commissioning of modern guided missile destroyer level ships like this one, the Philippines demonstrates that it is serious about defending its maritime territory and contributing to regional security. It's also a strong deterrent. Potential adversaries must think twice before threatening or encroaching on Philippine waters. Knowing that these modern ships can track, target, and strike with precision. For the average viewer, you might be wondering why this matters if you're not a defense enthusiast. The answer lies in how these ships protect national interests. A ship like the Antonio Luna isn't just about fighting wars. It's about ensuring that sea lanes remain open, that fishermen and commercial shipping are safe, and that the country can stand its ground in disputes over maritime boundaries. It's a floating guardian of sovereignty, technology, and national pride. And from a purely technical perspective, it's also just a marvel of engineering, blending steel, electronics, and human skill into a machine that operates as a single living system at sea. To sum up, the BRP Antonio Luna FF-151 is more than just a warship. It is a symbol of modernization, a tool for deterrence, and a flexible platform that can handle both combat and humanitarian missions. With its stealth design, advanced sensors, powerful missile systems, and multi-role versatility, it gives the Philippine Navy a fighting chance in an increasingly complex maritime environment. For defense watchers, it's exciting to see such capability in Southeast Asia. For everyday citizens, it's reassurance that the seas surrounding the country are better protected than ever before.